another big interview on the 947 Breakfast Club. <laughs> In the case of our guest today, this man comes from the continent of Africa. From being dubbed the Prince of South African Rap to become the undisputed king. When that alter ego came out back in 2011. And he's always in the news, not just for music, but his personal life is like TMZ. <laughs> 2009, Hype Magazine Award Best Newcomer. Today, my daddy was is simply used to winning. I paid the price to be the main man. I want to talk about right now and how things are working out and how people are loving the music. Now they recognize me like a name brand. Sometimes you have to sacrifice for the swag, you understand? Standing from bottom is rolling around in that Toyota bucket. Winners win. Losers complain about winners. Always had a dream that I would be the super mega. And I'm just in a great place, in a very positive, very happy, amazing place. This is a megathon. I built me a statue. One and only AKA is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're in a debate, uh, the team. Because yeah. I, earlier I was saying, AKA is here. And then I started, you know, naming all the things you call yourself. I'm like, the super yeah. mega. And then I said, the Doro. Uh-huh. And then everyone's like, you're lying. He doesn't call himself that. <laughs> so please. I, I cannot just make nicknames up as I go along. What is that? We need to know but what that means. But you have called yourself oh, the Doro. So, oh, uh, that came from a song uh, that, uh, who was it? Oh, uh, Don Jazzy and, and Tiwa Savage. Them, them Doro Super. Doro Mega. Doro Superstar. So I just kind of took it So from Doro there. is there? Yeah, that you was that was kind of like that was like two years ago. You guys owe me breakfast. Yeah. That was two years ago. Yeah. Now now it's now it's the multi talented African rap superstar. <laughs> the multi talented <laughs> African rap superstar. <laughs> <laughs> but the streets are talking that you want to be called Keenan Forbes now, straight up. True story. I want to change my name. I want to change my artist name. To um, Keenan Forbes. To, That's your to, real name. To, to, to King Forbes. Okay. King Forbes. I think that'll Forbes. just go down better. I think AKA is a bit of a swag name to Google. Uh, so in America, in America, it might not work out so good. Oh, I hear what you say. So I think it'll work out better in the States if I just call myself King Forbes. Plus, Forbes is a pretty badass surname. It is. So, I mean, you so know. why why would I go through my whole life and not use it? You know. By the way. Good morning, everybody. Good, good morning. morning. No, no, good, good morning, Mister. You remember at school? Yes. <laughs> no, I wanted to go. Good morning, morning Mister Forbes. Speaking of school, <laughs> you were in St. John's, right? Yes. Uh, three days ago, we had somebody call in here. Have a listen to this. I just want to wear sneakers to work. Female, twenty-five, uh, CA, so she's a candidate attorney, no. and she's got a passion for watching Master Chef and cooking. Good morning. Hello. Are you a candidate attorney? No, I'm not. I'm a pastry chef. A pastry, a pastry chef. chef. Where do you pastry chef? I work at St. John's College. St. Jo- the high school. <laughs> <laughs> so there's yes. a need for them they've to have got, a pastry chef. They've got a pastry they've, chef. They've, they've got a full hospitality department. What? Now, so who are you pastry they, chefing for? They have weddings there. They have everything. It's actually they do. more like a they hotel do. than anything else. Oh. Yes. There's it's a more hotel. Like a hotel. Um, look, I can't comment. <laughs> hey, don't give me that look. I can't comment on the on the on the hospitality and hotel arrangements. But what I can say is that when I was there, the most that was there in terms of pastry related incidents, yeah. of pies. Yes, um, oh, okay. was, was probably uh, there's like a like so. Uh, okay, it's a long story. So basically, if you're an old boy, you're called a Johannian, right? Uh-huh. Old Johannians, right? And we had it was like a little restaurant, but nobody ever went there, and I don't even know what the inside of the place looks like. So, that's so, all I knew. So they they don't because in my mind when she she said she's a pastry chef, I'm picturing like all the matrix walking around with croissants, no. croissants <laughs> with some, some cheese. You guys, you order in the morning when no. you're like, <laughs> like, I feel like milk tart today. Huh? No, croissant. guys, it's nothing like that. Look, look at, at the borders. I mean, if if you the dining hall, the food isn't bad. You know, there's you know pies and pastries and things like that. Cheapest, but I wasn't in boarding. But I, the thing about schools like St. John's, right, is you always know that somebody went to St. John's, especially mm. the old boys. They'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you know why pe- we tell people? Why? Because when um, the reports used to come, my dad would never waste a second to remind me how much it cost. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. right. So if I got bad marks. 
my dad would say, would, would like I, I would know like quarterly <laughs> how much the, the fees are. Oh, right. So 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 now that we matriculated, it's like wow, we actually <laughs> did that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, so we, we 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 don't we don't let anybody forget. But it's cool, man. I've um I I I I, uh, I would definitely do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah. I wouldn't say that I was the most appreciated in terms of my music at that school because I remember when I was in. Well, am I giving away my age if I stay stand at seven? Do people yeah. still say mm. that? No, yeah. they Is say, that fine, right? They say grade nine, but carry on. Right. So, <laughs> so um, I just feel like. I, I should have gotten like music honors or music colors Agreed. when I was in Stanford. But what seven. did you do that? that you I released an album. I had an album in store. Oh, you are an entity. Yeah. Oh, yes. You should have gotten a white I blazer. I should have gotten a white blazer, but well, I didn't. But it's okay. It's all good because look at me now. Yeah, no, I was Hi. about to say. Now, Hi. now, who's, now, say. now who's performing with the orchestra? <laughs> <laughs> We gotta talk about that. We're gonna talk about the orchestra. Uh, mm. We're gonna talk about uh, your Nickelodeon's uh, nomination, which yes, I think is uh, yes. amazing. Uh, did you promise your daughter that if if you win or <laughs> if you if something happens, she'll go with you to the awards? I did. Yo. I did. I promised her that 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 um, uh, if we if we won this thing and she helped me campaign for it, um, and she's very smart, and she probably knows what campaign means. Mm-hmm. Um, then, 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 then I would take her to to Disney World. Oh, um, in, sorry, not Disney World, Disneyland in LA. In LA. Um, in addition to all the other cool Nickelodeon stuff. Okay, so we're gonna chat that, and then we're gonna speak the orchestra, and then we're gonna speak about the good stuff that AK is doing that no one seems to be chatting about. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Seven Breakfast Club. Seven Breakfast Club. Bikini weather. AK is in the house. <laughs> Another big interview on the 947 Breakfast Club. This is big. He will be doing classic or not for us today. I can't wait to yeah, hear it. He's picking a song. It's 10 years and older, Johannesburg. You'll decide if it's a classic. But on to pressing issues. Nominated mm-hmm. for a Nickelodeon Award. Yep. Now, I must tell you, I've been nominated and I won it before, AK. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know you, you're, in, you, you're in good company. Your daughter is all out for you to win it. She's three and a half, eh? Right? KCA. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Hashtag Bye. vote AKA. Hello, Hashtag KCA. Your son, uh, my son and your daughter are in the same class. Correct. My, my son doesn't speak like this. Like, what is yeah, my son listening to? I was about to say. To? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really. don't know. I don't know. My, I, I, we, we, obviously, uh, Cairo's... Uh, uh, parents are, are both in like the entertainment space. One is an artist, one is a DJ and artist. So I don't know. There's a lot of talking. There's a lot of music. There's a lot of uh, I don't know. There's a lot of personality around her. Not to say that your son has any less personality. <laughs> <around him. laughs> oh no, he's got personality. <laughs> he just can't speak like Cairo does. I don't know. I just, I just, yeah. I, I suppose we just already kind of molding her into a little like. Uh, to a little media darling or something. Is that uh. is, is that something that you're not opposed to? I'm not saying you're pushing it, but you're not opposed to her being, you know, a, a child star? No, I'm not opposed to that at, at really? all. No, you know why? Why? Because there's some more money in my pocket. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> yeah, eh? forget about all that saving for university stuff. Yeah. That is not going to happen. Right now, daddy needs all the money he can get. And what are you wary of in your child being a child star? No, I'm 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 serious. You know, that money will go into a fund or something. But what I'm wary of is just her being so young and people being able to recognize it. It's like a safety issue, you mm. know. It's a security issue. But later on, I want her to be a tennis star. Oh, is that what you're going yes, for? That's tennis what I star. really want. Oh, ah. There we go. Yes, Does she already yes. like watching tennis? No. I guess it's a I'm gonna get working on it. <laughs> I'm gonna get working on it. Right now, we're still at the karate versus ballet stage. Oh, right. <laughs> right. What, what, you, you promised to take her to um, Disneyland if yes. you if if you get onto this awards. What does she want to see there? What's her, is she like a princess? Is oh, she wants to see Mickey Mouse. You know the usual mm, stuff. Minnie Mickey Mouse, Mouse and Minnie Mouse and the castles and and, and, and yes, yes, yes. And uh, is yeah, Baby Shark there? No, no, Baby Shark baby is not shark, Baby so sorry, Baby Shark is booked and busy. So Baby Shark <laughs> is Baby Shark is like I said the other day. You know that uh, that Shrek West song. I got mm, call it. Shake West, no, Mo no. Bamba, you don't know that song. No, we don't. You guys haven't been to the club in how long? 
It's been a while. About it's nine months, while. eight, nine months. Anyway, my joke wasn't gonna work. So basically, that song, <laughs> basically that song is like the baby is like the baby shock for adults. Oh, oh okay. Yes. okay. But some for some adults, baby shock is the baby shock for adults. Apparently, yes. At the there was a school picnic at our school. Yes, at, at, at you know our school, our, our children's school, school. our yes. children's school. Yes, okay. And apparently, the DJ dropped Baby Shark back to back three times, <laughs> back to back. And the place and the whole place went up. Lit, son. <laughs> it was lit. All right, AKA's in studio. The loves are coming in fast and in a hurry. Make sure you vote for him. Hashtag vote AKA hashtag KCA so Please. that we can get Cairo to Disneyland. Uh, your voice notes are streaming through as well. Hi, nine four seven breakfast club. Hello. Um, I just want to ask AKA, having watched the roles, especially when Paul Tusi started going in, he felt as if he kind of didn't think it would be that bad. So I want to know, was there any point during the roast where he felt like, nah, fam, I just want to call it quits. I'm asking <laughs> way too much. This is not what I signed up for. And did he take offense to any of the jabs that were thrown at him? Good question. Nice. Um, the first part of the question, did I, did, w- w- did I at any point think that I'd signed up for too much? Yes. Uh, did I take anything personal? No. Y- now, here's the thing. With that, um, you know, thinking that you take it on too much, when they asked you to do the roast, I mm-hmm. want to know who asked you, how many times did you change your mind, and what finally made you say, you know what? Okay, so I was, I was asked by, obviously, Viacom and, 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 and uh, Garrick, Jesus, yes. call him, and uh, he, he brought me in, and we spoke about it, and he told me about this roast thing, and how it's a great opportunity, and whatever. <coughs> Pardon me. And then I said, no. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. And uh, then I went and I thought about it. And then I thought about, you know, how it would be at the start of the year. You know, um, it's, 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 you know, good momentum for the start it's of the nice year. It's a nice way to kick off it's the year. It's a great ahead. way to kick off mm. the year after my birthday and after my tour and after everything that's happening. But then I also thought it would be nice to have a good laugh at myself, you know. Uh, um, that's cool. After everybody has had so much to say. Let's actually hear what people would say in like a kind of structured comedic uh, mm. environment. And I think that comedy is one of the things that brings people together. Mm. I'm all about bringing people together. Mm. I'm all about making people laugh and making people happy, even if it will be at my expense. And on top of that, I decided, hey, you know, I could, I could also do, I could also take this money and I could give it to a good cause. So I took the money and I gave it to the students. Yes. So all, all in all, it worked out for everybody. Before we get to the students, I want to know, is there somebody that you didn't want on the panel of the roasting panel? That I didn't want? You said, I'll do it, but that person is not allowed to be on the panel. No. In fact, the opposite. Huh? There are people that I wanted on the panel who did not want to be on the panel. Can oh. you, will you mention them? You guys know who they are. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what, what, was the, what was the one joke that, like, that you thought was like legit? Was like legit? Yeah. Legit funny or legit like too far? Both. Both. <laughs> yes. Uh, it may shame, man. Like you know, the girls always seem to get it at these roasts. You know, Nina Hasty. Mm. Um, it was actually in the pre-show. I think Donovan Goli- Donovan Goliath when he was introing Nina Hasty, he said something like, um, "Jeez," uh, he said, uh, "Nina Hasty's uh, vagina is so <gasps> is so big that." Um, there's a bouncer at, at the oh. door. <laughs> wow. wow. There's, a, there's a bouncer at its entrance. That one got edited out clearly. <laughs> that one, I was like, oh my goodness, that is way too far. And then the other one that you felt was quite legit aimed at you? That was legit. Mm? <sighs> too legit to quit. No, um, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. For me, it was just about making sure, ooh, I hope these jokes at me are funny. And I hope that they that people laugh at them. Is it a good production? Is it a good show? Oh yes, I, I, okay, I, 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 from what I saw, I watched the first because I was in studio. Uh, but from what I saw, it was it was so well put together. I love my entrance, and really big hats off to to Comedy Central man to get all those people in there, all those laughs, um, and and just to bring people together. I think people had a great time. I yeah. had a great time, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. And I would recommend anybody who gets offered to, to be roasted. roasted do to, it. to accept it and do it. You can catch it on, it's on um, Showmax at the moment. Yes. Actually on Showmax, I know Comedy Central is going to flight it a few times as well. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and then the good that you're doing, you gave uh, the students money. Why did you decide people, to do people, that? People are saying now that, that good deeds are supposed to be done in silence. So. Whatever. I'm sorry, can I tell you something? Whatever. For instance, um, if if Salsi gives me half a million to go and help 
the Alexandra victims of the fires. I have to tell people that because mm. South Sea needs to, it, it. They have to write it up on their CSI as well, mm. and they need to account as to where did that money go. They can't just mm. be like, oh, we gave mm. Anele money, but we can't talk about I, it. I, you have to talk about your good deeds because people who are giving you the money sometimes it's not our money that we spend. Uh, it's somebody else who gave you money, and they need their PR legs from it. And frankly, well, if I can make sure that people have a home to live in, I don't care what you think. Mm. I, I took the money out of my own pocket, you know. And um, the thing is, me, you're not using it to you're not using it to promote yourself or promote the we music. We buy your music, the, whether you do yeah. good or not. Yeah, I I just think that from there, there was a say there's a saying that that goes no no good deed goes unpunished. Yeah, true, you know. True. Um, so I decided that I wanted to to help the students out and. I didn't call any media there. The media called themselves. I'm, I'm supposed to be like a celeb or something. So where I go, people, you know, come in and capture stuff. So anyway, I just decided that I would kind of stand in solidarity with the students at VITS, especially because I have got a long history with VITS and, 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 and I've got, you know, a good relationship with them. And I, I, and I went there. I donated uh, 100,000 rand to, the, to, the, to one of the res, to the SRC. Mm. And uh, I went and I bought like 20K worth of burgers and stuff. And I stood there and I handed them Who had out. 20K worth of burgers ready? Hey, Standing man. Back. We went and we ordered 20,000. We went to a wow. McDonald's in Auckland Park and we bought 20,000 rand worth of McDonald's. And, they must, they must and we stood there. But now here's, here's the feedback. Did you drive through it? <laughs> so here's they the made him wait in the parking wait here for your order at first at first everything is positive but then after a while people on, on social media will be like yeah but why didn't you come to this university why don't you come to this university oh i'm sorry my bad i say why why did you why why didn't you do it in silence why didn't you why did you yeah. tell everybody yeah. say oh my my bad my bad uh like yesterday uh i like the other day i went to st- I, i'm doing this legacy over everything youth tour for for high school so i went to weinberg boys i went to I, I'm big boys and I get there and I say and then I have to leave I say why why didn't you stay long enough why didn't you stay why didn't you sing more songs so you can't win you can't win, you can't <laughs> win especially <laughs> when you're AKA yeah. listen when you come back AKA is going to tell us about this orchestra thing he's doing yes. uh, as the musician on the show Frank he's got I've some got questions. technical questions, got questions to oh. ask him his ah. classical notes is also going to be happening and then uh, a few more voice notes from you 84 947 the super mega the Doro the AKA Mr. Keenan Forbes is <laughs> yeah oh my god hi AKA I just want to say I love you so 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 much I'm one of your biggest fans uh I love you. I'm one of your biggest fans and I, I just want to say I support you in everything that you do. I love your music and I'm so happy for you that you got nominated. Oh my God, I, I love you so much. Do you give the, the little shop a bit of a concert? Uh, I'm actually a bit irritated when, 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 when stores like play my music uh, because it's always a bit weird. Um, I, 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 I go to Andicio's. And without fail, I walk in there and then the music just... Oh, someone does it. Someone yeah, starts it. Man. Everywhere I go. <laughs> if I'm like maybe at a, at a petrol station, somebody starts it. Like, I understand it's love and I understand it's appreciation. But you know... Oh, it doesn't man. irritate you which song they it's, choose. It's You're like, please just pick a B-side. Pick something deeper off the album. No, Don't and, just pick the single. Yeah, well, that that's sometimes too. But most of, and f- first and foremost, I hate it when I'm with my child. You know, and I understand like, like if I'm at a restaurant and the waiters they put, and no, I'm just like, oh man, I don't want to be AK. I just want to be Keenan. Be, you know I want to be mean? Carol's dad. Yeah, exactly, oh, but it, but it's cool. It could be worse. People couldn't care at all, and that would suck. Exactly, you could walk in and they put, and, in. Just, and they just play Casper. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to that part of the interview. <laughs> Um, you've got this weekend you're playing with an orchestra right <laughs> yes I'm now, playing with orchestra. I've, got, I've got questions because orchestras generally it must be a lot of work to integrate yeah. the music with them do you guys like sit and plan it out how does it work um, we, we we decided that what we wanted to do was we wanted to pick the music that would translate best into kind of orchestra mm. yeah uh, you know like orchestration I'm actually still learning about the instruments you see in my mind I don't know too much I'm like oh saxophone uh flute thing <laughs> violin uh, violin but there's different things there's like oboe um uh, b- bassoon <laughs> oh. uh, bassoon oh, bassoon okay clarinet i love, I love you what know? you're doing with your hands as you're describing <laughs> each of these instruments it's like so, you drank so, woolies water it's like just becoming refined i'm, amal- I'm amalgamating anyway <laughs> so 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 we decided that we wanted to pick the songs that would the would would sound the best with orchestration um, and there's a lot of songs. We're doing an hour and a half, uh, which is the longest that I've ever performed. 
performed 30 piece orchestra and and backed by my band as well oh, so right. that was the other kind of technical way we had to Ooh, to find there's it there's a lot going and on and are yeah. the are the orchestra people like are they tough to work with are they like no, no you guys are out of time no You're they, they time. are amazing we have an amazing uh uh conductor his name is eddie clayton and uh, we basically put, he basically put all, I don't think it's like, you know, these orchestras have names. I think this orchestra is like uh, different uh, uh, musicians from okay, different orchestras, fusion of orchestras coming together. Yeah. Um, and I'm very, very excited about it. We, we've been rehearsing. We've, we, do, we have to do, I've done two rehearsals now. I'm on my third one. And uh, it's like 21 songs that we're doing. It's, it's, it's really, really intense. We've got some great special guests. And uh, on Sunday, it's going to be an absolute vibe. I'm so proud of what we've managed to achieve. Are that's the tickets awesome. still available? Yes, the oh, tickets are available yes. in the general. Oh, that's fine. The general tickets. That's fine. But where, I, where are you, you know, buy we them? can, we can, you know, hey man, you know, I got you. You know What's somebody up? who knows somebody who knows another somebody. I know somebody who knows somebody who's actually the guy on the stage. Okay. <laughs> so if people want to buy the general tickets, where do they go? Uh, you can buy your tickets at CompuTicket. Unfortunately, Golden Circle is sold out. That's fine. Uh, but there's still mezzanine tickets. Telepromoter, we more seats. Just sold out all the floor, floor seats. seats. Take mm -hmm. me to the okay. okay. I want to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Take me to New York, I want to see L.A. Anyway, I really stop want to auditioning for the concert. kick it with you. you. You'll be by South American, American bar. Tell them why we're black hook in a minute. Nobody going to say you, UK. Relax, hey, we're wasting time. Because most of the place don't up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go hey. into Classic or Not. Let's go into Classic hey. or Not. Hey. Classic or Not. It's old. But is it a classic? You decide. Classic or Not. Classic or Not is brought to you by Suzuki Way of Life, a.k.a. Give us your classic. Okay, today my classic. Uh, first, let me give you a little bit of background. The song was originally recorded uh, by an American singer for a 1985 movie. Don't know why that's the first line of this piece of paper in front of me, but anyway. Uh, in the United <laughs> States, uh, blah, 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 blah. Basically, it's a great big song, and it's Madonna, Get Into the Groove. That's what I've chosen today. Which one is Madonna, Get Into the Groove? In DJ. The groove. Let's go. 84 947 Send up a WhatsApp voice note. This is AKA's classic. He says it's a classic. I think Joburg is going to bomb you, by the way. I don't care. <laughs> Play Madonna. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't worry. Wait. This part, is this a sample? The I'm down on my knees. I want to take you there. I'm not sure. That, isn't that rock set? <laughs> no, man. There's a song that like does a, it. Like a prayer. That's that's Just like, like a prayer. prayer. That's oh, Madonna. Yeah. Oh, so this song sounds like her other song. Yeah. The whole album. Oh, Madonna. It's very like eighties leg warmers. Yes, yes. Yes. Almost like those people used to do aerobics in the morning. Yes. Get your body beat. Beat boy. Beat boy. Beat boy. Yeah. Beat boy. Beat boy. <laughs> All right. That was AKA's classic or not? What do you think, Frankie? I think it's a classic. Uh, Timbigile. <laughs> no, ma'am. Uh, Cindy. It's a classic. Alex. Nah. Anele. Uh, you know what? I think, I think it's 3-3. Three, three. No, 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 no. Joburg no, no. votes. Joburg votes. Oh, Joburg votes. I, I, you know how I, I don't like Madonna, but I get it. I get that yeah, she's you a understand legend. It? So I'll say it's a classic because <laughs> I, I get that vibe. But you know how I feel about Madonna. No, you don't like her. Don't Why it. don't you like Madonna? I just don't get it. Madonna can't sing. Oh. Madonna is an icon. She guys. is, but this is what I'm saying. She's an icon. She's a legend. She is like timeless, but... It's like how, could, how can you be a legend and be icon if you can't sing? You can. Because how could you? How can you win like twenty Grammys without being able to sing? Because you may, you record nice tunes and they fix them for you in the studio. That's how Madonna got. <laughs> they mine. didn't fix But then song. everybody would be Madonna, don't you think? Well, Rihanna is the new age one. But oh. Rihanna can sing. Shem like Ciara is the only non-singer who bombed, but we have a few. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Joe Brook. <laughs> We love you, AKA, but hey, this is not a classic. <laughs> I don't check this is a classic. I don't it's check it's a classic, classic. Hey, kiss. AKA, I think you should always be there for classic or not. Oh. This hey. is a classic. Thank you. Oh, well done, guys. It's a classic. Yeah. It's definitely a classic. Yeah. You rock, AKA. <laughs> No way, this is not a classic. Sorry, this is not a classic. Sorry, sorry. No, AKA, no, no, no. <laughs> not a classic, my man. AKA, Goldilocks. Yo, good thing. This is a proper classic. I think you should teach us Ike's Day the Breakfast Club some of your moves like Jagger Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. Your callers and your listeners are so lit so early in the right, morning. Right, so you guys want the score? Yes. Uh, the score is 6-5. 
to classic. To a classic. Yeah! 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 <laughs> you will be judged harshly for this. <laughs> Sorry, I enjoy winning. <laughs> Everybody who said it wasn't a classic, suck it! <laughs> suck it! <laughs> Look, some of us are very good at doing that. So suck we'll it! it! <laughs> This has gone south quickly. <laughs> AKA, thank you so much for popping this in. This has been amazing, guys. <laughs> really, really. Yes! <laughs> we wish you the best on Sunday. Uh, AKA uh, with an orchestra. Tickets still available at Comedy yes. Ticket. Uh, make sure you watch his roast on Showmax. It's going to be on Comedy Central as well. Yes. And get voting. Yes, get voting. Get voting. Uh, hashtag uh, vote, AKA, uh, on uh, on Twitter. Just posted it. Hashtag KCA. Uh, come to the orchestra on Sunday. Megacy over everything tour for the kids also starts uh, on Friday in Cape Town. And then uh, we go to WWE with Joe Jumbo. But I'm, I'm a so winner! <laughs> You're a loser! I'm a winner! Bye, AKA. If you love Joburg, yeah. yeah. 947 loves you.